In Excel, if you have a long list of data, you might use formulas to pull out specific information. For example, what was the lowest order price we had for carrot bars? Or what was the highest order price for whole wheat crackers? You can create array formulas using min and if or max and if that will pull that information for you. Or you could create a pivot table and get the information from that without formulas. To create the pivot table, I'll select a cell in the list, go to the Insert tab, click Pivot Tables, and it's selected my whole table, which is named Sales Data, and it's going to put this on a new worksheet. I'll click OK, and here's the new sheet with an empty pivot table set up. So if I'm looking at my products, I can select products from this field list. So I'll click Product, and it puts that into the rows so I can see each product listed here. And then I'm interested in the price that I sold these products for. So I'll click Total Price, and it went into the row area as well. So I'm going to move that over into the Values area. And it put it in as Count of Total Price because there are some empty cells in that column in the original data, or there's some text, maybe somebody typed NA or something in a cell. We can change this though. We're interested in getting the minimum price and the maximum price for each of these products. So to change this from count, I'm going to right click, summarize values by min. And that gives me the lowest total price that that product was sold for. I also want to see the max. So I'm going to add that same field again. So over here I can see total price. I'll drag that down to the values area right click, summarize values by max. So now we can see the lowest price that each product sold for and the highest order price that we have. To make these columns easier to read, I'm going to change the number formatting. So I'll right click, number format, and I'll use number, two decimal places, and use the thousand separator. So that tidies up each column. I can do the same here number, two decimals. Okay, so now we can quickly see the lowest and highest price of the orders for each of these products without any fancy formulas. For more Excel tips and tutorials, and to download the sample file from this video, please visit my Contextures website at www.contextures.com.